and a pencil or something with you uh you can do it on the phone i guess everybody does everything i think most people do it on the phone <laughs> <laughs> but it would be nice and uh, you don't have to write what i'm saying but you just have to write on a scale of 0 to 10 where am i with this before we uh, actually start are we starting we are starting we are live <clears throat> Can I see you people for like half a second before you go off? Like, hey Leslie. Hi Leslie. Hi Leslie. Um so yeah. Uh Sir Jane Namaste. Lena Jane Namaste. Hello. <laughs> um and uh, all the usual stuff. Please make sure you have some water with you. Um what else? This is going up on YouTube. Same disclaimer. Please no personally identifying information. Something that would give away where you live or any other thing Anything that you would that you prefer to stay like. private. Yes. Yeah. Please is keep that. Is it very personal to you? Because this is very general. This is very general and mom has organized a lot of things to talk about. We'll have to see. Yeah. We'll <laughs> get through it all. We'll see. We'll do the best. Yes. So for those who are just joining it would help if you have a sheet of paper and a pencil or a pen with you and water and water of course <coughs> So some of the things that I may say would be probably a little they're either different. going to be different or very familiar or very new and all of that is fine weird weird That's weird awesome. weird is the normal for us i guess i guess <laughs> hey achit hi achit hi vinita vinita ji namaste okay so i think we will start I'll let start? people who join sure because i wouldn't want to keep them waiting we start so, at 8 o'clock on the dot i'm happy i i will uh, say it once and then i will say it slowly again you have the rating for yourself this is your personal review a survey and it's not meant to be shared with us or anybody else just just for your own knowing <clears throat> so my first question would be are you acknowledging the good that is already there in your life on a scale of 0 to 10 where would you put yourself where would you rate yourself <clears throat> so on a scale of 0 to 10 where would you put yourself as far as acknowledging the good that is already there in your life the people who have been with me on other calls No I like to have fun with words. I like to play with the alphabet. I always do. So you you'll know what is coming next. Because we all learned alphabet, did we? Did we not? Yes. And the interesting thing is although we learned it really early in life when we were really little we still use it. Not quite an A for apple B for ball but still we do use it. and the reason for saying this is because there are some things that we learn that we need to keep applying all the time it doesn't help to do it monday tuesday wednesday thursday i'm tired friday it's too busy saturday weekend so rare it doesn't work that way <clears throat> the tools that we learn must become like our breath like 
like breathing when do we when do we breathe all the time hopefully all the time all the time is good so for some people who have just joined i said i'll be we'll have to asking keep, you yeah. something and giving you a few minutes to rate yourself on a scale of 0 to 10 and with no point of view and no judgment so when i ask this like the first question i asked was are you acknowledging the good that is already there in your life where would you put yourself and this is all just to keep to yourself <clears throat> and it is your just for yourself look who's here from all the way from france and yeah. hi abhishek so the second question second question is hello ma hello hi abhishek hello. get a piece of paper boy an a4 sheet or maybe a3 also will be good <laughs> i have a lot of stuff to share <clears throat> So the second question is are you being you are you being your authentic self it's a big question it is a big question it's a very big question we could do a whole call just on that yeah because most people don't even know who they are so being you on a scale of 0 to 10 where would you put yourself the third quest where it comes to choosing consciously where would you put yourself if you need me to repeat please just raise your hand i will repeat it <clears throat> for those who are just joining please get a sheet of paper and a pen or a pencil or a tablet if you're fancy or whatever it is yes lena ji we will repeat it the third question please repeat third one is are you choosing consciously oh ravi ji is in a car uh, who is in a car ravi ji is in a car uh, <laughs> don't write don't do anything just be okay yeah. <laughs> you can watch the replay and, yeah. and then are you driving uh no it looks like he's in the passenger side okay. i think i think okay. yeah yeah the next question is are you destroying and uncreating stuff like we do clutter clearing and we clear stuff that we don't want when it comes to thoughts feelings emotions are you destroying and uncreating stuff or is it just piling up so destroying and uncreating stuff where would you put yourself hi varun um uh, the next question no. is hi good to see you so when it comes to being expansive do you expand yourself energetically every day expansion <coughs> does it happen every day gary douglas says the purpose of life is to have fun that's the next one fun are you having any hopefully Varun? hopefully some now yeah yeah we hopefully some now you'll have to get a sheet of paper and a pencil and you have to write if you have missed after i finish the whole thing i will read it fast again <clears throat> so that so looking at the alphabet whoever has joined now has to leave a b c d e f <coughs> okay i'll have to speed he, up a little bit <laughs> he did he doesn't know what i did. oh my god i haven't seen all the material she got ready yet no no he hasn't seen he no. doesn't but it would be nice to just do this okay okay so fun are you having any <clears throat> i hope you all say 10 on 
<clears throat> next one when it comes to gratitude how grateful are you on a scale of 0 to 10 The next one. Honor. Do you honor yourself? On a scale of zero to ten, how much do you honor yourself? When it comes to using the tools, how does it get any better than this? Do you use it? often sometimes shaking his head vigorously sometimes <clears throat> once in a while or when some one asks you did you ask how does it get any better than ah yes i will ask now so this is like two things for h when it comes to the other tool that is often used interesting point of view do you look at things as just interesting or do you allow yourself to be at the effect of other people's points of view so your question is interesting point of view are you using this tool the next is a big one also am i going very fast i uh, you'll need to i'm okay <laughs> there's a lot he's already getting scared there are like three four more sheets like this that are written down <laughs> i'm going to have some fun here okay so the next thing is very important judgments where are you with regard to judgments it could be judging yourself it could be judging someone else it could be judging something else but judgments have you given them up yet or not on a scale of 0 to 10 how judgmental do you choose to be the tagline of access consciousness says empowering people to know that they know <clears throat> which is probably what pulled me to this modality empowering people to know that they know so where knowing is concerned do you follow your knowing how much do you follow your knowing on a scale of 0 to 10 now in order for you to be as expensive as you are the one thing that we need to remember to do is to lower our barriers are you lowering your barriers every day are you aware of whether you are without barriers or with barriers it it's like a default system the moment you get upset the moment you get scared the moment you get worried the moment you are in the presence of someone who irritates the, you the barriers go up immediately and the uh, and the thought behind it is like i don't want to get hurt again but guess what we do get hurt the barriers don't really keep us from getting hurt so do you remember to lower the barriers the next question is also 
very important there's a whole book on it gary and dr dane have written called magic you are be it so you are magic magic you are are you being it are you being the magic that you are do you even acknowledge that you are magic is anyone uncomfortable not yet okay good <clears throat> so where it comes to no expectations where would you put yourself how much would you rate yourself on a scale of 0 to 10 Ma'am, could you please repeat the last question again? Definitely about expectations. Yes. So when it comes Thank to you. no expectations, the the letter is N. So I said no expectations. Where would you put yourself on a scale of zero to ten? On the scale for not having expectations, or on the scale for always <coughs> having. No, you are living from a place of no expectations. For some people, it could be zero also, Varun. I mean, because expectations are very high. Ah, uh, no, 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 zero. Mane, wait. You mean zero as in lot of so, no expectations? So, so yeah. when when you say I have no expectations, zero expectations, and I never expect anything from anybody, then you will put yourself on a ten. Ah, okay. Okay 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 yeah so just to clarify yes. zero meaning you have tons of expectations for everything and 10 meaning no expectations of anybody you have you have mastered the art of not having any expectation you live from no expectation is there any doubt about this any no okay then the next one Are you choosing oneness or separation? Are you functioning from a place of oneness, or do you feel like separate from everything and everyone? Because oneness is who we are; separation is what we choose. the next one do you choose to be powerful and potent all the time because that's that's who you are pure potency do you function from from a sense of powerfulness all the time and in access we talk about living from question choice possibility and contribution so questions are you living as the question do you ask a lot of questions empowering ones of course Preferably. when we ask questions then that becomes a way of life we are forever in the question we do not jump to conclusions we do not have any points of view about anything we are only in the question so when it comes to questions are you in the question and for those who are new to this body of work it's okay because these concepts may be a little unfamiliar to you but these are the tools we we learn to be the energy of the question and if you can't think of anything 
how does it get any better than this? And the one question that has seen me through six plus decades on this planet is, I wonder what else is possible. That is till date my favorite question. I'm forever asking, I wonder what else is possible. Ask the question. So, uh, someone said something. Me, me. Oh, hi. Hi. Yes, please go ahead. So, this tool, how does it get any better than this? Yes. Is it a, is it a question of, um, like, is it coming from a place of, oh, I can't imagine that there can be anything better than this? Or is it uh-huh. coming from a place of, oh, I, I, I sure there's something better than this and, and, and that's what I'm looking for? Okay. Very good question. <clears throat> Great question, Ajay. Can it I is answer like this. this? Uh, sure, please, go ahead. Oh, that's uh, okay. It's like, <laughs> I wonder what else is possible. So I'm in awe of knowing what else is possible. Like He's asking about how does it get any better than this. So it's like this, so Ajay. That is, so those two are, uh, in my opinion, related like i see them always going together like you know there is more to what can get better than this so there is what else is possible how does it get any better than this what is to get more better okay so let me put it this way if there is good there is also bad if there is wrong there is also right These polarities, everything exists in the universe. And when you ask your mind something, your mind will only give you an answer based on what the input regarding that is. Based on information that is already Already inside. Like when I have that information that I have put in, When I ask a question related to that, my mind will give me the answer. But if you are in a in a situation where the mind does not seem to have a solution or the mind does not have the mind does not have an inkling or an idea as to like what else is possible here, when you ask how does it get any better than this? You are going out of your mind into that field of consciousness and awareness that has all the answers. So when you ask this question, you are not sitting and waiting for a reply. But just putting out that question out into the universe will allow you to tap into awareness which we don't often do. So whether it is something bad something not so good, something very good, something absolutely amazing, bordering on the miraculous. Even then when you say, how does it get any better than this? It can. So this idea of believing that there are possibilities that we may not have tapped into, but which exist. And when we ask this question, we get awareness as to How? How is always the co-creative part that the universe plays? We are co-creating with the universe. And like you have asked a question, I am responding to you. When we ask, how does it get any better than this? The universe can't wait to show you how it can. The the But I feel slightly ungrateful when I say it. You know, when something is going really well, one... How can I how can I be grateful for something that's happening and also ask this question without seeming ungrateful? No. That means that somewhere you have put a ceiling on how much you deserve to get. Anything more than that is being ungrateful. But if you are as big as the universe, what is it in the universe that you are not entitled to have? No matter how rich, how wealthy, how strong, strong, how um, learned one may be, do they not aspire to go forward to do something more? This is not necessarily in terms of just material gain. 
Yeah. When we say, how does it get any better than this and what else is possible? Like uh, Sarah said, the idea is not to simply say like, okay, so if I have this, if I have like the latest iPhone, then I have to uh, throw it away and then get the latest one and then throw it away and get the latest one. No, that's not what we're talking about. One um, second. Ha, one second. Uh, so when you say, how does it get any better than this? And you stop thinking about it. The the tendency is to ask a question and immediately try to answer it for yourself. Instead yeah. of instead of uh, asking the question and keep your mind open to possibilities. So if if you if you try to answer the question yourself, you're only going to answer from a place of what is already there in your head, from a frame of reference that already exists. That's very set in its ways. You can't do anything else apart from that. But if you're trying to create something new, create something different from a place of great gratitude for what is already there. So now, how do I make the most of this? How can I create something more with what is here? How can I um, get more awareness about what is possible with everything that's there around me in order to add value to myself and everybody else? So that is why I said you have to step out of the mind. Because as long as you're thinking, or overthinking, the mind cannot give you what is not in there already. So I will talk to you about this more later, okay? But just make a, put a star or something there that this needs to be uh, added on to, okay? Yes, okay. Vrinda. Somebody wanted, I, was it Vrinda? Was yeah. it Varun? We'll let Varun go first, Vrinda. He's coming here for the first time. <laughs> Otherwise, he'll not come and then that will not be nice. Yes, nice. yes Varun. <laughs> uh, uh, Varun is Vrinda's brother, which is why I'm saying let the brother. Yes. So, as you mentioned, uh, you know, when you ask the question, how does it get better than this? And uh, immediately your brain starts popping up with ideas of how it can be better. Let's see if I get a, I get a check of around 5 lakhs. Okay. And then I say, how do I get better? So I know that the beta will be around 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs. Okay. So my, how do you stop that? Is it, it it's something like you said, you know, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be blank. How? You know, how? Practice. This, this is a, this is a, uh, Practice. You know, as is the case of most out. things, it is a skill that you have to cultivate. Now, now this is where it gets really interesting. You were thinking 5 lakhs. The universe was thinking 50. Or a few crores. Or so so when we get the into beginning. when we so get into it, a, the mind. The better is what I define normally. You no, know, the better is what I. You have to go beyond definitions. Hmm. You have to be willing to receive abundance without calculating anything. Calculation is still in the mind. The idea is to ask questions all the time so that. When you ask a question, then you ask a question and let it go out into the ethers of the universe and gather whatever it is, energy that is required and come back to you in a way that is even better than you can imagine. Uh, some very Imagination also has a ceiling beyond which it cannot go. Uh, some very intelligent person said the mind is like a parachute. It works only when it's open. Right? When you're asking a question, if I'm to use uh more commonly used terms when you ask a question the idea is to keep your mind open to everything else that's possible and choose the possibility that's going to add the va the most value in this moment right now that could be anything it, mm. we don't want to get into specifics because then it's all hypothetical you know you could say oh but what about this and oh but what about that the idea is to change the frame of mind change the way that we're looking at life altogether not in terms of, oh, okay, so if, if if I have this, then this. It's a very set thing. If this, then this. If this, then this. If this, then this. Because that's what we've been used to so far. That's all we've been doing. That's worked for us. There's nothing wrong with that. But then when you're looking for something new that you have never experienced before, something that is outside the realm of what we think is possible right now, we have to stop looking at what is already there and start picking up information from everywhere. Right? Yeah. 
that's what the question is for so the idea is to allow ourselves to receive information i i can relate to the question it's just that when, when you said yeah yeah when stop, when we thinking when we ask a question we allow the universe and the quantum entanglements to respond to us because that's what is the energy of question it opens up possibility but when we say it can't get any better than this or like this thing yeah. is supposed to be in this way only mm. when we make statements we put full stops and everything comes to a stop like because we have something that we have all been blessed with and it is called free will so when you choose only 5 lakhs the universe is very you know varuna i can give you more why it will not do that it will just honor what you are you yourself are saying so it makes sense to not say anything but be in the question and always willing to receive more than what we think is possible because we are not creating alone we are co-creating with the universe the universe gives us the freedom to make choices but the level of consciousness with which we make the choice matters does it answer if you? if anything new anything different anything uh, that we haven't seen before is to be created we have to get out of our head first because it's only going to re- regurgitate what we have put in there it's right. it's also very interesting that when we say how does it get any better than this we do not ask for something that has already occurred in the past because we want something better so the better is always in the realm of the unknown and the unfamiliar and therefore we cannot know what it is until it actualizes in the present but the willingness to trust ourselves and trust the universe this is where things shift and change very dynamic because you have asked and you have asked with no point of view you've just asked a question and you're willing to receive then what you receive is always always better than what you would have thought of yourself does it answer your question or yeah yeah the question i mean the clarity was there it's just that many mentioned not to think so as you said it's more of a practice which is why when i was talking and if you listen to the replay i said you have to be willing to step out of the mind into the field of consciousness and awareness that has all the answers good evening uh yes 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 vrinda ma this uh, achut mentioned uh, the question that uh, how can i uh, like how if it what i got from it i'm sharing that and something that you have mentioned in the call came to my awareness at the same time so i want to mention it so be, he was like how can, if i does it seem ungrateful if i ask a question how does it get even better for me for whatever i have received uh, so the i like it has been so many times you have given this example wherein let us say i visit your place and you offer me some sweet and i say thank you so much and i eat it and it's so delicious and i say wow thank you so much i have i really enjoyed eating this then you would always ask me would you like to have more yeah that is the energy from which we would be asking a question so it wouldn't seem ungrateful it would be oh oh universe or oh god i'm so grateful for this and i really wonder how does it get any better than this so that I, it just somehow that exact that this example came to my awareness so i thought maybe it would help him to relate to the energy of that question that's it ma nothing more did it did it help uh, achit to some degree i hope <laughs> a little bit because it's not the exact analogy you know in that case you're asking her if she wants more what if she asked you oh it's so good can oh. i have more um is that also okay i don't know no it is like this it can be her it can be you i can come to your house and i say this is the best curd rice i've ever eaten in my life i've never mm. had curd rice with coconut milk will you say 
at your age only this much is enough shut the hell up and go will you say that or will you say would you like so more? here's the thing okay it takes two on the one hand we can say like you are willing to give us as much curd rice as we want but if i say this is the end of it i am never going to eat any more of this curd rice ever again i'm grateful but then that's the end of it okay. i'm not even considering the possibility that there's more that you can give me okay right i'm and, shutting it off yeah and i'm shutting it off so now that's that's the full stop at the end of the sentence but if i was to ask a question oh how does it get any better than this this but was really good but isn't that what contentment means like being content with what you have Are so you? you're you've eaten curd rice and now you're never going to eat again for the rest of your life right you should be content i don't know it doesn't work all the time bro even you say i am content there are some things that you say okay yes I, with this house i am content with this car i am content does that mean there are other houses and other cars that are possible that i can't have no it's just that i don't want it right now but then if you were to eat one meal and then say i am content and never eat ever again does that make sense no but the opposite is i am content now but i want i, I wonder what's out there what more is out there so now when you that say that is exactly what we're saying when you say you're asking how does it get any better than this you allow it to get better when you say okay. contentment contentment implies that there is nothing else after this yes i think but then you're going to eat the next mouthful of curd rice with a lot of gratitude yeah mm. right yes yeah. yeah so it is like this okay there is no dearth of abundance in the universe we all are entitled to that abundance and it is our both right and we can have it to the degree that we are willing to receive with some people it is also a case of deservability i don't think i deserve any better than this and that is a big conclusion that stops everything that can come from coming okay in any case i will talk to you about this sometime because you're new it's to this like, body of work so naturally you have these questions but i understand it's like when but i have a lot of stuff i need to go yes, through yes, yes, yes. one last thing like before i forget So people say like you should be content but that doesn't necessarily apply to everybody there are those who don't know the meaning of gratitude and they think that they need more and they need more and they need more and they need more and they need more to satisfy something else they're looking for uh con- the uh joys of life outside and they think they need more and more and more to them it applies yes you need to be content with what you have because they don't know the meaning of they they live their lives in excess that doesn't apply to everybody you have to look at okay so someone said this but does this actually apply to me which is why the first question was are you acknowledging the good that is already there in your life and from that base or that foundation we keep building okay okay i forgot which letter i was at uh, questions i think questions yeah so The next one is right. Do you choose to be right? Do you choose to be happy and free or right? How important is being right to you? The next question is you are here to be the steward of the earth how much of a contribution are you being to the earth because you being grounded is being connected to the earth which allows the earth to always contribute to you so are you being the steward of the earth that you came here to be can you repeat the question one more time please yes we need are you being the steward of the earth on a daily basis you are here as a steward of the earth are you being it how much on a scale of 0 to 10 
In Access, we talk about living in 10 second increments. I would um, simplify that by saying, are you living in the moment? Do you live in the moment or do you tend to be somewhere in the past or somewhere in the future and never in the present? So, 10 second increments, are you choosing it on a scale of 0 to 10? How much? And there is always an upgrade that people are seeking, you know, like when they travel and all, can I get an upgrade? Are you upgrading your life moment by moment? Do you choose better? So upgrading your life, are you? How much on a scale of 0 to 10? Then the million dollar question that we ask in Access, which those who have not done much Access will not be able to relate to, but it doesn't matter. Who does this belong to? Do you ask? Sometimes, most of the times. And when do you ask? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, Chris. Did we miss V? Upgrade and then who does it? Okay, to? Oh. I missed V. I am sorry. Brinda, Varun, and all these. We need to. I apologize. Now I'm I'm like I have like three, four, five, six more like this that I sat uh, for a couple of hours and wrote. And I'm like wondering, wondering what to be V? And I could I and you suddenly went to tell me and I was like, did I miss V or did you miss V? No, I missed V. I apologize. So Vulnerability is one of the most important tools in access. So vulnerability is when you stand tall, you look the world in the eye without the need to put barriers, up, put up barriers or have um, some kind of a protective shield like a coverage or something. Vulnerability, are you choosing it? And then, of course, who does it belong to, which I jumped to. So, they say in Access that almost 98% of what's going on with you is probably not yours. You have the capacity to pick up the thoughts, feelings and emotions of people within the radius of eight to 8,000 miles around you. So, do you ask who does it belong to? And more importantly, when do you ask? Like some people will say, I have a headache, I have a bad migraine headache and then they'll call me and then I would ask them, did you ask, who does it belong to? Yeah, I asked. When? Before you said I have a headache or after it? Oh, after it. So now who does it belong to? If you have already adopted that headache as yours, when you say, who does it belong to, where is it going to go? To you. So, who does it belong to has to be the moment you get an awareness of something. You have to be willing to ask this question. So, are you doing that? Now, this, this could be even for physical pains. like not Anything. Just yeah, empaths pick up, empaths will pick up problems of other people and take it into their bodies with an intention to heal them. So sometimes when I'm doing some energy work, I feel it in my body and Vivek has come up with something incredible. And the moment that, that okay. some awareness comes, he will, he first he says, thank you body for the awareness, which means it is just an awareness. It is not mine. Okay. Not made it his. So, that is how it is. So, I battle with the word X because it's so difficult to find a word. So, then I came up with Xerox because I couldn't <laughs> find anything else. So, then 
are you wanting to be someone else ah clever like a xerox copy of someone else is that what you always like ha huh, like that person like that like like this like that never being self so wanting to be someone else is that what you do on a scale of 0 to 10 how much do you do it if you're not doing it that's wonderful this is again a, a a little tricky question but then it's a why so why not now something yes so when you say uh, xerox and wanting to be someone else uh could it be wanting to be like someone else in certain aspects of being that is you appreciating someone and liking something about them so would i be the same when i rate myself would i be the same as wanting to be someone else no this is where i don't like being myself i wish i was like varu okay i wish like i was as tall as him and stuff like that okay. so the idea is i wish if, i had a nice beard like varun <laughs> <laughs> you just shaved it off i know i just shaved it off <laughs> <laughs> okay so it is like this wanting to be someone else is sometimes when i'm not happy being who i am i'm not happy with myself like i want like this that whatever so that there is also another aspect to this varun and that is you are able to appreciate that in someone because somewhere it is in you also and that's why you are able to see it and and it's very important when you see someone and you like something about them let's say a is a billionaire and i like that energy of wealth that he has i have to be very specific about what about him i would like to have mm. what would it be like to have a wealth that is like or even more than a is a good question but if i say I'll, i'd like to be like a if he has blood pressure diabetes whatever whatever i it's like a package deal we Correct, don't yeah. want that so yeah. we have to be very particular about how we frame our asks it could it could be like someone's business acumen someone's uh, willingness to create something different and new someone's willingness to experiment someone's awareness of what people are going through all of that are like things that you would be able to notice in other people okay. primarily because we have that in some capacity for ourselves but we'd be like oh okay i'd like to have more of that or apply it the way they are doing it so you don't copy paste okay. and now you're going to all wonder like what the hell is she talking about <laughs> i will explain the last is z z as some people call it i grew up saying z um this is called a zero sum game does anybody know what it means yes okay a zero sum game is where i take two steps forward and then i take two steps back where is that zero so do you tend to take two steps forward and then two steps back on a scale of 0 to 10 how much do you do that another way you could look at this is like do i feel like if i am to gain something then someone else has to lose or if someone else is to gain something from me then i Can have to lose please say again please remake sorry uh what do you want to say, say? the question again I said no, I said, can you can you repeat just now you said the last uh the who said he said I, I said, said. Yeah, who said he, he said he said we oh, me okay uh what did i say uh where you, uh I wonder what you said oh crap um uh huh someone yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes someone if someone i gain something win. then someone else has to lose or if someone else has to gain then i have to lose or even with yourself if you gain something now then you lose something later or something yeah 
that is almost an expectation this is what happens to me if something good yeah. happens then if, next if day I'm, bad luck if i'm happy now i'm going to cry tomorrow kind of situation yeah. you know oh. that comes with the belief of uh, what goes around comes around so you know i oh. i could be looked at yeah you could look at it that okay, way wait now i don't know if i skipped something again okay. it's quite yeah. possible that I, i said are you living your life or are you living your parents life that ah, was your thing oh the your the why, ah, why? Yeah, yeah 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 so very often we want to follow in our parents footsteps and regardless of whether that is what we really like or not we do that we tend to mimic them and do that so are you living your life how much and then the zero sum game to think two steps forward and two steps back is that what is going on and if so on a scale of 0 to 10 where would you be with that so i'll read it through very fast and um, those who haven't written it or what late joining the call please listen to the replay and do it the first was are you acknowledging the good that is already there then the next is being you are you being you The third is are you choosing consciously are you destroying and uncreating stuff regularly do you expand yourself are you having fun how grateful are you do you ask how does it get any better than this do you honor yourself interesting point of view are you using this tool judgments have you given them up yet knowing are you following it are you lowering the barriers every day magic you are are you being it no expectations have you reached the place where you have no expectations of anyone what are you choosing oneness or separation then choosing power potency or powerlessness are you choosing power and potency so questions are you living them are you asking them all the time if it is right do you want to be right always or do you choose to be happy and free <clears throat> are you being a steward of the earth are you living in 10 second increments are you upgrading your life vulnerability are you choosing it are you asking who does this belong to are you wanting to be someone else like a xerox copy are you living your life or are you living your parents life zero sum game what is your status got it oh yeah we'll come to all that have you got all this whatever it is that i just said Can you open this for me please it's fine okay how many of you are like quite happy with the way you have rated yourself i don't want you to tell me what you have done uh, but are you happy is there anyone who says i am to really 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 happy is there someone who says like i think i have some way to go with all of this these are the tools varun is putting his hand up for the first thing or the second thing i second oh okay okay good but does it give you a context to the tools and how we can use them in a better way yes anybody i need feedback has this helped you to find out where you are with using the tools and and does it tell you i see some people nodding so yeah yes ma it's a very good <laughs> reminder actually and with every letter also the way you have connected it it is like she spent you know, a lot of time so next time and we yeah it, it's <laughs> it's like a reminder now when i say d the first thing that came is just try and create so it is something that we can use every time yes. yeah it's very helpful it's it's what they call the ready reckoner if i you were able to make a list of this yeah. ma and put it it's, somewhere it's where we saw this every yeah. day yes ma it would actually change a lot more than yes. what we are willing to true there is see the idea is this you know tools are meant to be used 
it doesn't depend so much on the tool it depends more on the person using it which is why when we were in school they said a bad workman blames his tools right so we are not here to question whether the tools work they have worked for hundreds and thousands and millions of people all over the world and if we think it is not working it's because we are not doing it the way it was meant to be used okay so i have so many people who when i ask like uh do you ask how does it get any better than yeah whenever i have a problem i always ask how does it get any better than this so i said well if you were to ask that more often maybe that problem would not show up at all because you are always in the question okay so then somebody also asked me then if some, something bad happened and i say how does it get any better than this will it become worse i said we are dealing with an intelligent universe here it knows what we are saying and what we mean any questions ma can i share something yes ravi yeah ma'am uh, like it's a very long time i got 10 out of 10 grades in most of the things oh really that is yeah. incredible Good for you. <laughs> that is amazing yeah. that is so nice and it, yeah the learning like the journey was long but it's beautiful like yeah i enjoy the two years of being in excess and seeing the change from like 2018 2019 and 2022 very nice so the grade from 2 to 10 it it took a long time but it's getting 10 out of 10 in many of the eight awesome yeah. i unfortunately don't have a badge or anything but i applaud you for <laughs> getting there there are a few people who have been using the tools very consistently and yes. they see it now i've lost a lot of time I just need to ask you people are you willing to stay with me for a while longer <laughs> I have lots of stuff to share Yes Yes Okay Yes So this is question number 2 you'll have to use a different page I guess So in access there is only one mantra there are a couple of things that are statements but everything else is just a question So we say in access all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory Are you saying it every day Varun is shaking his head Okay Would you like, like more like ease in your life like, like Ravi said it he after a long time he feels like he's got 10 out of 10 I after a long time I flunked in exam <laughs> no no this is yeah, not this is not a flunking exam this is just a reminder this is just an assessment like a self assessment self assessment you yeah, don't even have to tell me about zero you don't have to tell me. i'm not here to like i'm not a school mom or a, like whatever the, the yeah there's no principle there is nothing like that it's just that we want ease in our lives we want joy in our lives we want abundance in our lives which is what glory is but we do not say this you you need to say it at least 10 times in the morning and 10 times in the night before sleeping it that's what they say but you can say it all the time when you say all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory it doesn't mean that things will be easy there is a difference between ease and easy what it means is no matter what comes to you you will be able to handle it with ease why because that's how you are asking life to show up for you it's like if you are if your boat is solid whether the seas are rough or calm it doesn't make a difference you'll be fine either way oh thank you thank you so much it's very nice okay so this is one check are you being present and being the space that you are this is a very important question you have to be willing to occupy your space fully and how big a space are you actually you're energetically as big as the universe are you and please repeat the question uh are you being present and being the space of you uh 
if you think about someone who's like you someone who you find very impressive and you watch the way they conduct themselves does it feel like they are physically present mentally absent or does it feel like they are 100% there and you they give you a sense of like power they are um being all of themselves with no hesitations with no apologies okay then the next is are you celebrating living is life a celebration for you or is it only a couple of days in the year or like a half a dozen of them that you actually celebrate are you celebrating living when it comes to distractions do you get easily distracted which means then you can't be present right how much ease do you experience in your daily life next one is there a failure mindset is there a fear of failing is there a memory of failure that keeps regurgitating itself over and over again sorry uh, the last one one second please the last the previous one the previous one was ease how much ease do you have in your day to day life with everything that you do Ma'am, please repeat about failure also. Is there a failure mindset? Is there a fear of failure? Do you worry about it? Do you do you go about things as if expecting failure, preparation so that you don't fail, instead of preparing for success? If I want to use that word. so some questions may be slightly related to the previous one but there is a slightly different angle to it do you choose so your to... uh, what can we ask to eradicate it can we finish the questionnaire first sara please yeah first then ask question because i'm running out of time there's a lot i want to cover otherwise i'll have to do um uh, part 6 I, I don't think anybody is going to have a problem with that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I don't, I'm not. I'm not worried about heart sick. I have given you the clue. Failure mindset. So where is that idea of failure? It is in the mind. So when you get out of your mind and choose greater, then then you will win, and the fear of failure will be replaced with your your confidence and your ability to win no matter what you choose to do so this is a very important question we're talking of going beyond this reality do you choose to go beyond this reality or do you want to confine yourself within the parameters of this reality only let me give you an example for some people this might be new and for some people you may have heard me saying this over and over again in other calls so imagine a lotus flower where does it grow in water is the water clean no where in the mud but when you see the bloom it's always above the water flawless and incredibly beautiful so when we are we are not destroying this reality we are not criticizing this we are not we don't have any points of view about this reality but we would like to create something greater 
something better, something that would probably shift and change reality. It's like every time we judge our reality, it's a judgment of ourselves for being there. You know, it's like we've put ourselves in that place. We've made a bed and now we have to lie in it, kind of. Not the bed's fault. So you remember when the Wright brothers were making their aircraft, they were made so wrong. Everybody thought they're like, what are they trying to do? Like, it doesn't even have to be that far back. Even just 10 years ago, doing this would have been unimaginable. Just having a video call conference like this would have been like, oh, that's that's crazy. And everybody is still on dial up. So when it comes to honoring self and honoring others, which comes first for you? How much does honoring yourself first make sense to you? Do you do that? Or do you come last on your list or maybe not at all there? Honoring yourself first. The next one is, have you created an identity that you are not willing to go beyond? Do you define and identify yourself as only this or only that? Are you stuck in an identity? One of the points in the bars uh, is kindness, gratitude, peace and calm. Where are you with these? Kindness, gratitude, peace and calm. Do you see yourself as a leader in your own life or do you feel like, no, I can't lead, I must only follow? Are you a leader in your own universe? Are you happy with your relationship with money? Money. Are you happy with your relationship with money? Do you often tell yourself, I don't deserve this, so not deserving? Do you think of yourself as not deserving of something. How much energy is perfection taking from you? Are you a perfectionist and how is it helping? In Access, we talk about question, choice, possibility and contribution. Are you using this in your life? Question, choice, possibility and contribution. Are we living from these? And then one of question, the most... Question, choice, possibility and... Contribution. contribution. Okay. The next one is very important also. How good are you at receiving? Why is Chris laughing? <laughs> I don't know. He's very good. 
<laughs> now there there are two questions i want to ask next so let me ask one first are you stuck in some story that you keep telling yourself over and over again and each time you are making it like more and more concrete more and more solid more bigger so are you holding on to some story stuck in that the second is do you see yourself as the source of everything in your life another important question when it comes to trusting yourself how much would you give yourself on a scale of 0 to 10 this is also a tricky question but i hope you will answer are you unkind to yourself while being overly kind to others is there any energy of victimhood in your life on a scale of 0 to 10 where would that be do you live from a place of wonderment always or just once in a while the energy of wonder is a huge contribution in our life so even if i say i wonder what else is possible that sense of wonderment has a very different energy so the question is do i live in wonderment for rarely or most of the time yes yes how much do i wonder do you expect expect everything to be exactly as you want it to be or is there room for something else to show up the next question is yesterday a part of your today and your tomorrow and the last one do you feel like you have zero control over your life or anything that happens there do you feel like that Okay, let's leave it. No, okay. I I need to ask now. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so it's been a long time. You've been like really, Very really great. patient with us, and I'm extremely grateful. Now I have not read the questions that you have posted, but is there anything that is coming up with regard to with regard to whatever what we are talking said? about now? Two minutes. Whatever came up, I asked him. Good. Okay. That's very nice. Yes, Prinda. Yes. Oh, sorry. Could you unmute yourself again, please? Yeah, go ahead. Ma, with respect to not deserving or des deservability, there was a question. So yes. 
use it so sometimes like it's if if something untoward or if something unpleasant shows up hmm. then this feeling comes oh i do not deserve this kind of or okay. behavior maybe behavior or uh maybe behavior of other or like yeah something. which means that there is some expectation about how they should behave nama uh, yeah yes yes what if it has nothing to do with you how someone else behaves is entirely because of them yeah so this mm. is where this is where one of the most important tools in access is your level of allowance what does it mean allowance doesn't mean tolerance allowance does not mean um doormat energy allowance is your ability to see what is without a point of view as well interesting that someone sh- someone should choose that that's it it's like you're not the effect of somebody else's behavior it does not affect you but you see it but you stay unaffected by it it's like a rattlesnake is just going to rattle it's not going to oh. you know and if you bring it because it looks very pretty you want to catch it and bring it and keep it in your living room then you deserve everything you get rattle and everything else ill advised yeah <laughs> okay now i'm not asking for anything other than have these questions been a contribution to you will they help you to use the tools better yes no yes no do you realize that yeah. when we uh sara yeah when we uh, when we say i'm using the tools i'm using the tools the the choice of tools is important okay i cannot hit a nail with a screw driver right i cannot hammer in a screw with a hammer that would not be very good so it's important to keep using all the tools so many times so frequently all the time that you don't have to think now what do i ask here and what do i say now what should i do no because it will come to you very naturally because you have been using it all the time consistently consistently and like we say we are consistently inconsistent inconsistent okay so that so can you just see what is there a question in my head there are <laughs> suddenly realize there's so many tools yeah <laughs> and um, this is not the whole this is what i was able to sit and write in in a little bit of time that i got today mina uh what is choosing consciously with presence what does consciousness mean to you there are people who make conscious choices and and they never have to look back and say i wish i had not done this because they were fully present fully aware fully conscious using the best available resources to them while making that choice okay so as we look back on our lives for whatever reason uh ill advised as it is going back into the past because it's over when we look back in life there are usually two ways in which we see things either we say i'm so glad i did or you say i wish i had and i'm so glad i did is always a better choice okay, so what just to clarify consciousness according to access consciousness is consciousness includes everything and judges nothing so the willingness to include instead of exclude and shut people out and shut things out and shut off possibilities and judge none of it right with that is what allows us to perceive something and then be aware of it and then choose in such a way that will add value if we're upset if we're frustrated if we're angry if we're distracted we're not necessarily going to make choices that are going to be in the best interest of all concerned 
So now that is consciousness. Awareness is our willingness to be present and perceive everything that's going on around us with no point of view. We're not trying to shut off anything. Uh, okay, put it in chat and we'll see. Okay. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this call was a recent addition to the clearing statement. Okay. Those of you in access have heard of, of this, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. Sometimes when I read, I don't know. Yeah, yeah don't worry about it. I'm, I'm watching. Okay. Go so ahead. we have always said in access that your point of view creates your reality. Okay? So when you see your reality, you get a good idea of what your points of view are. And it is holding on to those points of view that does not allow your reality to change. Which is why uh, the creators of Access have come up with the word POVADS, which is a new word in the clearing statement. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shots, boys, powards, and beyonds. So, powards are the points of view that you are avoiding or defending. Okay, so when when you avoid or defend something, you make that particular point of view so solid and so concrete that nothing shifts and nothing changes. So, this is an important. Uh, this is an important addition to this uh, clearing statement, which was already powerful. But the, the most important thing is that you will see facilitators now saying all the emotional uh, points of view that I'm avoiding and defending, I revoke, rescind, recant, renounce, denounce, destroy and uncreate it all. So that is really clearing it completely with these words. So you will find yourself sometimes listening to clearings when they say revoke, rescind, recant, renounce, denounce, destroy and create it. It means to clear it completely. So when you use your clearings also, you can say it this way. All the points of view that I'm avoiding or defending here, I'm willing to revoke, rescind, recant, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate it. All the points of view uh, regarding my work, regarding my health, regarding my finances, everything that I'm avoiding and defending, I'm willing to revoke, rescind, recant, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate it all for now and forever. When you do that, you will notice that the clearing is even more powerful than it was before. Does it make sense? So are you suggesting use it along with the other shipment, like two shipments or just use this? Uh, this is combined in addition to what was there before. This is the new word. So we used to say, um, whatever it is that is showing up, that is bothering me, I destroy and uncreate all that. Okay. Yeah. This situation, whatever it is that is creating in me, I destroy and uncreate it. So now what you're going to say is everything that I'm avoiding and defending about this situation, I revoke, rescind, recant, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate it all. Then the statement. Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad. Yeah. And, and just to just to be clear here, when you say I am destroying and uncreating this situation, it is everywhere that we have created this and everything that this is creating in us now. Right? So if someone's being rude to you, you, you don't go around saying, I destroy and uncreate you. That's not how it works. Please, for God's sake, don't do that. Okay, because they're going to think you're actually crazy. And you may be just extra crazy. Um, all of this stuff is just for us. This is our work on ourselves. So now when you say, I destroy and uncreate it, all of the points of view that I have about the situation, everything that this situation is bringing up for me, that is distracting me from what is actually going on and keeping me from creating something new, something different, something that will add value. Like I said before, in the best interest of all concerned, all of that is what we're letting go of so that we can be 
cool calm composed present and in a position to deal with this in the best way possible and and because everybody will be able to relate to this um uh i'll do just one clearing varun say all my points of view about money all of my interesting points of view about money that i'm avoiding to address and change or i'm defending because i believe i'm right everything that is i revoke resend recant renounce denounce destroy and uncreate it for now and for all eternity then what you're doing is clearing all the points of view that did not allow your financial abundance to be what it could be does it help ma it does it help yeah okay 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 uh ma'am repeat i'm not entirely sure what you want us to repeat we've been talking for a while now not sure about that i'm sorry <laughs> kind of lost you there um what am i supposed to repeat well, i'm not sure i will be able to i'm on 10 seconds in crime. all of this is going to be repeated on youtube at some point in the near future um so and would you be so kind as to subscribe to it uh, i suppose yes, you're supposed to ask like that well, Oh well, yeah we can be shameless and say like and subscribe uh but uh the recording of this call will be put up on YouTube and the links will be on mom's Facebook uh so uh i don't know do the facebook things uh i'm not very familiar because i'm not on facebook yeah, much uh yes the record yes, yes. exactly yes, Mark, yes, can yes. i add something yes han ji ravi please, please subscribe and ring the bell Oh. Oh the bell. Oh, yes, I a, forgot about the bell. Is there a bell on there is a bell. Oh okay. The bell has been there for a while to be fair. Okay. I <laughs> so you get see. the notification every time it's uh, something new comes up you get the ping around see, in your mobile. See my my desire to do this was not so you would like me or what I do. It's just to tell you that you have something like pure gold in your hands. You have these tools. these tools ke i was we were talking the other day and we said it's so amazing that the tools come to you long before you need them but then whether you choose to use them or to not use them makes the difference like we were talking about and we like uh, oh so the link is in chat by the way that everybody is interested in our youtube channel and watching older recordings uh, it's all there and um we were talking about how you call it creator or god or universe or wh- whatever higher power you choose has made it so that everything that we require is already there you know but either we don't notice or we don't apply what we already have effectively um this is what happens when we're like we were talking about earlier too caught up in our head and too caught up in the situation to be able to extricate ourselves from it instead of acknowledging what is going on we're getting washed away with the current okay so are there any questions urgent ones that that need to be addressed pertaining to whatever we have spoken till now if there is any tool that you would like more clarity on or anything that you would like us to elaborate on um if it's like super vulnerability thank you that's a good one yes <laughs> may i See, ask you one second ma usha one second in this reality vulnerability is seen as a weakness but the way we are talking about it it is your ability to not require any protection because you are as big as the universe what is bigger than you so from that space of being you do not feel the need to have any protection or have any fear of being hurt or whatever it is because that is your strength you are being as strong as you were created to be so vulnerability is not a weakness it is a strongness that is in you where you are willing to be yourself with no apologies being true to yourself like shakespeare said when you're true to yourself then you will be true to others also so vulnerability is one of the five elements of intimacy and i am extremely fond of this whole concept because when you 
honor, trust, vulnerability, gratitude and allowance is there for you, then it will be there for others also. Does it help, Sehar? It's like when you don't have to put up any defenses, people don't have to force their way to get through to you. And they don't have to attack you also. Yeah, people will attack those who are defending. But then if we're willing to be present, people who may be very rude or very curt or very disrespectful of others, they treat us differently because they don't see us as a threat. They don't see us as someone that they have to um, put down or put in place or something like that because it's a much more neutral energy. It's a much more calm and peaceful energy that fosters more creation, more growth. It's not the likelihood of being attacked or harmed as no. it is seen in this. No. It's exactly the opposite. Yeah. Let me know. If it, uh, yes, Usha. And there was somebody who said some time ago that is looking for a job. Okay. Uh, so yeah. you have to be willing to be in the question. And uh, what energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, mysteries, miracles and possibilities can my body and I be to invite into my life a job that is better than any job I have ever done in any lifetime, which would be fun for me and I would enjoy doing it and which would pay me more money than I have ever received in this or any other lifetime as well. And everything that doesn't allow that, you pock and pot it. So like, yes, Kavita? Uh, Usha ji had a question. I know, I'm asking this, Kavita this, because she... This, ah, this that, works okay. magically. I have, I'm a live example of this. That's Actually, why I, I was asking. trying to tell this. I, I just wanted you to finish. I finished it. I, I have this, I have used this tool and I have landed up with some, a job that is so beautiful. And thank you. It, it's like the contribution in my life is amazing. Wow. And I have used this question, yes. How does it get any better than It works more. So yeah. that was for whoever it was asking about job. Yes, Usha. Yeah, thank you, Ma. I mean, you touch my heart <laughs> about the job, about the vulnerability, and I got the answers. Thank oh, you. So cool. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad. Okay, so, so this is where we realize that the tools that are already there are life-changing tools. And we have to make... I remember once Vivek was doing a bars class and occasionally I would come and talk. So there was a little girl, probably six years old, and she had brought her crayons with her and the bars manual looked more colorful than any bars manual I have ever seen by the end of the day. So I just passingly made a mention that at the end of the day you will have a toolkit that you can use for the rest of your life. So in the evening when he was giving certificates, she asked, Auntie, you said something about toolkit. When are you giving it to us? Like, wow, even though she was busy coloring, she was present. Such wonderful thing. So these are tools that might seem very simple, but they have changed so many lives all over the world. All you have to do is to put them to good use. It's like, and this is my request to you. Please use them and allow them to work for you. What we've told people in cause before is like you just write all of this down and put it somewhere where you can see it. If you, if you, even if you don't write all of it, just put a stick. Uh, what is that sticky note? Sticky note or a note reminder seven. on your phone, something. Anything. Am I using the tools? You will use them. Like people ask me, like, how do I get present? Ask yourself, am I present? You will be present. So it's like that. And sometimes people say, like, they'll call me, like, I don't know what question to ask. So, so you just say, I wonder what question I can ask here that would give me more clarity about this, that would change this, that would, whatever it is that you want. It's the energy of the question that works. Who else was asking something, no? And then how not to I want to tell something. Sarah, yes. yes, please go ahead. Uh, we've been missing uh, you on the hook, hook calls. call. Yeah, yeah, I have been uh, away from access consciousness for a while. Hope is nothing so, to do with access consciousness. It's about you being on the planet. <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, <laughs> I was fine doing without that also. 
but you know i'm pregnant 7 months and i was just feeling that Congrats. you know i want to uh, start using the tools and today i just got the recap of all the all my questions and like i feel like you know i've done the whole bar class today ha bar bar karte raho bar bar dekho zar bar dekho so like you know and it said that seven month baby can really absorb everything yes to say so yes you know baby will absorb everything you know that yes. i had to learn yeah because it's a conscious baby and it would, it would like to have a more conscious mother yes a uh, more conscious so world to live in that would all be babies nice. are <laughs> born conscious yeah. and then we knock unconsciousness and sometimes even anti consciousness in them which is unfortunate yeah. but 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 i have had pregnant women who have come and learned bars from me and their very small children are running bars as if they're born doing it which probably they were okay all the best so thank you so much yeah thank you so, glad you could join so so all all your projections expectations separations rejections conclusions and judgments would you be willing to let it go now please and if you're asking for yourself it's a, all my projections expectations separations conclusions judgments and rejections i'm now choosing to let it all go and everything that doesn't allow me to let it go i destroy and uncreate that seema uh-huh. it was your birthday yesterday i saw it only today so belated greetings and good wishes uh, to was it like pain i said thank uh, you ma you are giving me a gift such a wonderful gift i came oh. in late but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there will be there will be a recording and vivek will post it see th- this is what it is you know the difference between people experiencing change and living a different way in a, li- in a different way on this planet is just the difference between using the tools and not using the tools judging yourself and not choosing consciousness judgment and consciousness cannot coexist so when you when you begin to choose consciousness you realize the level of power and potency that you have been sitting on and the only block in your way is is you we are the only blocks in our own way and the only thing to do is to get out of our own way because the universe is forever willing to contribute to us so i know people who will say i know the universe has my back and then say i'm so worried about this that doesn't happen yeah like uh it was larry kind of like wanting a proof of wanting a troll yeah yeah so there was a very smart man named larry crain and he talks about how most choices that we make most things that we do come from a place of wanting approval wanting control or wanting to be safe security. so now safety security is a big deal for a lot of people especially now so when we talk about not having expectations the idea of having expectations is to have something that is pre- predictable repeatable something that has worked for us before we would like to keep it that way because we would rather not rock the boat we don't want change if what is working is fine now when if, if it works great you know you do you um however when we are put in situations where we do not have direct control of outcomes that's when we're really i won't say tested but that's when we really need to use the tools because moment there is something that comes outside of our expectations that is when all our capacity is actually used we are like mom gives the example of like a ferrari being pulled by a donkey because we never really use everything that we're capable of until it's an absolute emergency <laughs> and we have no choice but to actually step up and do something that is required so now and we're willing to let go of that wanting approval wanting control and wanting to be safe and trust that okay no matter what shows up i will be able to deal with it that goes back to the five elements of intimacy when you're talking about trust in ourselves honoring ourselves being willing to have my own back and say okay so no matter what shows up i will be able to deal with this especially when we're going as someone has said here relocating to another country everything is going to be new everything is going to be unknown and the more we try to prepare for something the more time will spend actually not doing the thing 
if i want to learn how to swim miles is my favorite example if i want to learn how to swim no amount of lying down in my bed and paddling is going to prepare me for what is like for being in the water right if i need to learn how to swim i need to swim if i need to learn how to ride a bike i need to ride a bike and then come across all these new unfamiliar unexpected things that come with the territory and get used to those that's how we broaden our comfort zone it's not that we are going to be you know forcing ourselves and punishing ourselves by stepping out of the comfort zone is make we are going to make our comfort zone so big that no matter what happens you'll be able to deal with it easily effectively quickly with ease there was one a uh, person <clears throat> who had once uh, um organized a bars class and she messages me around 10 in the night saying that nobody has registered for the class so then i don't do shortcut writing on on whatsapp or anywhere so that takes me a long time so i just called her and i said what's your reason for for organizing the class is it because you love the bars uh, and uh, is it because you want to share it with as many people as you like is it because you love facilitating a class or is it because you wanted to make money and she said the last one because i have a lot of emis and all that to take care of so i wanted to do a class i said it's important for us to do what we do because we enjoy doing it because we love doing it the money is a by product of what we do happily okay which does not mean we don't want money or we are cutting money off we are willing to receive but that is not the only reason for doing what we are doing so if you think that only a raise in salary can help you pay your emis or only doing this class will help you then you are cutting off your receiving so would you be willing to receive from wherever it is would you just be more open to receiving it from unexpected sources it doesn't have to be only through this or that and we had a long conversation and in in less than about 12 hours she calls me up in the morning and she says you will not believe this i love calls like this because it's very nice so she said ma you will not believe this i'm at the metro station i'm standing in the queue uh to buy my ticket and at my feet i saw uh, found a 2000 rupee note now why am i sharing this with you because the universe is there to give you when you are open to receiving it's not the universe not doing what you want it's because you are not allowing yourself to have what you are asking for you are not a vibrational match to your desire yes varu so uh, with with regards to this receiving is something which i have always i i don't know i i want to uh, be able to believe in in a different thing but my experience has been that i don't know how to receive as in what is it that i have to change to receive or be open to receive what is okay. it okay so so let me ask you a question i was happily surprised and very happy to see you and your ride on the call and whatever it is that we have discussed and whatever it is that have you received from it yes today i have as ah, which means you know how to do it hey man i told you i had a cool beard and you seem pretty happy with that <laughs> <laughs> right so it's not an inability to receive it's just an unwillingness in certain cases with certain things it right. it is also important to remember why it is that we make receiving difficult in this reality because when somebody gives something to you you might at once go to your head and say like what am i supposed to do in return will i be obliged to do something that i may or may not want to so i don't even want anything and i don't even want anything to. so that's how we have learned to cut off receiving or like Now, we've been taught that it's better to give than to don't receive don't take anything from a stranger that we have been taught from a long long time isn't it so now the important thing is we all know how to receive 
how well we receive is a choice we have. So when you're open to receiving, things can come to you. When you're not, they don't. So it's more about, this is the clearing that I gave on the other calls and I'm sharing this with you. So what energy of infinite receiving can I choose to be that would allow the abundant universe to provide me with everything that I require or desire and then some more. And everything that doesn't allow that, I revoke, rescind, decant, renounce, denounce, destroy and uncreate it for now and for all eternity. And it's like... Right and wrong, good and bad, for and pork, all nine shots, boys, poets and beards. We're already receiving a lot more than we think we are. You know, the, the money in the bank, you don't know how many people's hands it's passed through before it's come to you. The houses that we live in, we don't know how many people were there involved in building the thing, where they are now, what they're doing, whether they're even alive, we don't know what we've received from them. If you take a breath and some tree somewhere <laughs> or, you know, bit of algae in the ocean has made sure that we have oxygen to continue living. So, you know, when we begin to realize that when we cut off receiving, we do a good self-sabotage work, then we, we become more open to receiving. The, is, there a, is there a practice to... Oh, I don't know, a tool to get that. Yes. Which was precisely what I was getting to. When you start acknowledging what you are receiving, you get better at it. Okay. You, you, we, we improve at something by doing more of it. So we acknowledge everything that we have received with gratitude. And then receiving becomes easier. And we don't have to say like, okay, so like I'm going to write you a, we're talking about money a lot suddenly, but uh, I'm going to write you a check for well, I don't know, whatever, blank check. And you do whatever you want with it. And then that suddenly is a beyond. It's suddenly like, oh, that's too much. Start slow, start small. What am I receiving today that I have not yet acknowledged? What can I acknowledge today with gratitude that I have received? It's like when you ask those kind of questions, that's what opens up more awareness. We start looking for things in the day that we could receive with more gratitude. Like somebody comes and gives you a cup of coffee. It could be at the tiniest cup of coffee, but you could have the most gratitude for it that you've had in your entire life. There is also another thing, you know, Gary has written a whole book on that. It's money is not the problem you are. Yeah. So that's because we, we do not know how to receive. Most of us have been taught how to give and give and give and give and keep giving. But we have not been taught how to receive because even in the Bible it is said, it is more, um, what is it says? It is more better. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's better to give than to receive. Yeah. It is more honorable to give than to receive. That's what is written in the Bible. So, but the thing is, there has to be a simultaneity of gifting and receiving that happens. We have to be so willing to receive that even if somebody judges us, we're willing to receive that with no point of view. Wow, judging. Interesting. Yeah, like... You're if, not affected by it. If some, do some dude on the road calls me a donkey, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Interesting point of view. This person has this point of view because calling me a donkey is not going to turn me into a donkey. And a donkey is a very wise and noble and hardworking and diligent animal. You know, <laughs> you know there was there was a time when uh, the, some property had been sold, and uh, my brother, who is now no more, he he made us all sit and count, and he said count and then pass it on and make sure that it's all correct. And sometimes we would get like we felt it was more than a hundred, and then sometimes we felt it was ninety eight or ninety nine. You said hundred, I said ninety nine. Yeah, so everybody so, so, got a different number. Yeah, basically. so he he looked at all of us. Tum sab ke sab gade ho tum log. So my elder sister was very put off, like you know, this is not the way to talk. But I laughed. Tu kyo has rahi hai? And ka agar main gadi ho to tum to mere bhai ho na? Mere bhai ho to you know like so. The willingness to see the funny side of things has been one of my greatest blessings, you know, because it doesn't allow you to go into 
not how dare drama. you drama come here to help you and this is how you treat me you so and so you yeah so nothing like that it's just it's just the willingness to not allow anyone to mess you up on your day up why because you're in charge of your day you you've decided you're going to have a great day and nothing and nobody can mess it up for you unless you allow it okay so ma can i ask one more one yes. more question yes. please go ahead yes yes create it and identify that does not go beyond it what does it mean not identify dearest i said identity oh identity okay so i am 67 mm. uh i should be sitting in a rocking chair waiting that's an identity age old age or whatever or i'm a mother so i have to do this only or i'm a wife so this only i shouldn't be doing anything else or or i can i'm i'm this so i have to be this only so that is an identity we trap ourselves in which does not allow us to be as versatile as we are born to be that's what it means it's like uh especially in cases of illness if someone is like an asthmatic they will immediately use that i mean not unfairly but they will decide what they can and can't do based on that instead of asking okay so what else is possible here they'll say i'm an asthmatic i'm an asthmatic so i can't do this i can't go here i can't eat this i can't do any of these things the the number of li- things that we limit ourselves by is always much more <laughs> then the things that we ask you know what else is possible for because that's how we've been taught to function you know okay thank you yeah uh, did, did it did it clear whatever it is that you wanted to have uh who does this belong to okay this is like um basically the tool is us acknowledging what we're really capable of in terms of being aware of what's going on with other people there are times when you walk into a room and you are very aware that someone is upset um or like you we give the example of having stepped out of the house you know bright and fresh and starry eyed and then going out onto the road somewhere and immediately being really upset for no obvious reason because we're picking up on the frustration of everybody on the road around us I think when I was talking about this I did say during the call that they say 98 to 99% of whatever it is that is going on in our heads is usually not even ours we have the capacity to pick up on the thoughts feelings and emotions of those 8 to 8000 miles around us did I say that it's like I did it's like we think that oh only certain people are empaths i think like everybody is an empath but some of them have acknowledged it and some of them haven't and this is an another important thing that we have to do if you have healing capacities you have to be willing to say i am a healer because if you don't acknowledge that then you will just be taking on stuff and thinking it is yours and and suffering for no reason okay has this call been in some way a contribution to you i hope it has given you some food for thought do you do you realize what you have been sitting on and how i am yes yes so i just want you to drink some water and give me 5 more minutes please so when when we say all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory be very present as you say it i have seen people rattling it out like some mantra bullet train yeah okay and you have to be willing to be with the energy of the words that you are choosing it's like when we say all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory you are you are allowing that energy to become a part of you and it does it, it carries with it an inherent trust in self and in the universe that 
everything is going to be okay and then there is another thing that we limit ourselves by seeing our physical bodies only because this is who i am this is how much i am but then that is not all of who you are okay so gently close your eyes please put your attention on the breath realize that that is what keeps you here keeps me here keeps us here and this is a classic example of gifting and receiving a simultaneity of gifting and receiving you receive from nature you receive from the trees and what you give they receive from you so there is always gifting and receiving that happens mostly unconsciously and mostly some things that we take for granted how many of us remember to thank the person who cooked a meal and appreciate that how many of us thank the sun for shining it's when it doesn't and it's cloudy that we curse it for not being there but it is still there so as you breathe relax let every breath contribute to you because the entire universe is willing to contribute to you and it is up to you to be willing to receive so allow every part of you to relax with every breath that you take imagine that there is a change that is taking place within you right now and that everything that was not a contribution to you in any way thoughts feelings emotions memories traumas past are leaving you are able to eliminate them all because of the level of consciousness that you are now choosing to be as you listen to what i am saying imagine that any and all unconsciousness is disappearing like snowflakes in the sun because of the level of presence and consciousness you are now choosing to be and this is how we are meant to be in every moment of every day and it is a choice that we have so imagine that you are a conduit between heaven and earth you are the connector here so you receive both from the heavens and from the earth below mother earth has tremendous tremendous healing capacities and is in effect the supplier of all things for us on this planet whatever it is ultimately the source is the earth so connect and commune with the earth stay grounded and receive because she is willing to contribute to you as well so as you continue to relax and breathe and allow all cellular memories to shift and change to infinite loving gratitude each one of those trillions of cells changing the memory of anything that was not a contribution or a value addition to your life imagine that there is a sense of well-being imagine that there is nothing to distract you derail you ever again unless you choose it and which i pray that you never will and as you continue to breathe imagine that you are expanding energetically not only externally but there is space between the molecules within you as well everything is getting more space so expand energetically go beyond the room beyond the house or flat or home or wherever you are go beyond the building 
beyond the locality, beyond the city, beyond the state, beyond the country, beyond the continent, beyond the planet, beyond the solar system, beyond this galaxy, and continue beyond all known and unknown solar systems and galaxies in the universe to the outer edges and see yourself somebody as expansive as this what can be bigger and stronger than you who can be bigger and stronger and more potent and powerful than you in your own universe but the moment you go into thought feeling and emotion the moment you go into some distraction you shrink you come back you diminish yourself to the lowest common denominator there is so we cannot say i expanded myself in the morning so it should last a good 24 hours it doesn't work that way it's like that ecg thing that goes on you know up and down it depends on how and what is going on with you right now and your state of presence or absence decides how expansive you really are so choosing to be expansive is a choice like everything else and it will allow you to access more and receive more and be more and do more and choose more because how big a container you choose to be will determine how much the universe can gift you so with the willingness to be who you are with the willingness to be the most valuable product in your life with the willingness to honor and value yourself like never before now and in the future with the willingness to look at everything as a contribution to you with the willingness to go beyond judgment with a willingness to project out into the universe only that which you are willing to receive multiplied many times over with a willingness to be a vibrational match to your desires with a willingness to shift and change energies merely by being grateful gratitude is a life changer and we always have something that we can be grateful for so with the willingness to be the energy of infinite gratitude now and in the future whenever you feel like it you may gently open your eyes please and drink some water thank you so much for being here all of you so on the 75th year of independence let us set ourselves free and let us enjoy the freedom that we came here to enjoy thank you for making the time to be here all of you on a monday night monday only right is it Is it yes. today? Today is Monday. Yes, yes. I'm pretty sure it is Monday. Will you have yes, today is Monday. The participants. I have email already. I have. Ah, okay. Email, but not everybody is here. I mean, some of them have already left. So. Just, oh, never mind. Don't do this. Okay. Any anyone has anything to say? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Allow participants to unmute. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Good evening. Happy Hello. Independence Day. Thank you so much. Same to you. I would like to say thank you so much for this call. Thank You're you so welcome. much. Thank most you. Welcome. Thank you for joining. We thank you too for making the time to be with us. Ma, it was a little bit heaviness during the last uh, last time of a little bit heaviness on here this area. Is it yours? 
So did you ask who the Dickens does this belong to? Did you ask? Yeah. If you asked, you wouldn't be mentioning this. You would return it to sender with a lot of love and consciousness. Mm, See, it is just sender. like this, okay? The tingling and whatever it is that is happening is happening all the time. But now you are more present to your body. So you notice things more because you are being present. It's like we tell people to spend time, you know, with their breath and I wouldn't say in meditation, but in silence at least. And then they say like, oh, all these things come up and I'm aware of all these aches and pains that weren't there earlier. And we're like, yeah, because the conscious mind has now taken a backseat. Everything else the body has been trying to get across. Get, get across to you and pull our attention towards all of that will come up all at once. Because now we're suddenly being more present and actually paying attention to it. So all the laundry list of things that it would <laughs> like us to take care of. So here, here you go. So, so if at all some heaviness does show up, you say whatever this is, I'm willing to let it go. Thank if you body really for the goes. awareness. Like Vivek says, thank you body for the awareness. I'm choosing to let it go and it'll go. You're the boss. It's like when you when we get signals like this, whatever it may be, it's the messenger. It's not there to cause us pain. It's not there to cause us anguish. Be with it. You know? See, no matter what I say in the meditation... You're the boss. You get to release what you want to release or you get to keep what you want to keep. Yes. So sometimes you're saying you want to release all of this and you on the other hand want to hold on to this. The body suffers then. It's like one foot on the one foot on the brake and the other on the accelerator. And guess where we are going? Nowhere fast. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Bless you all. Thank you so much for meeting. Thank you. Thank you. And, thank you, thank you so and for, for those of you who are new, I'm anybody here for the first no, time? Thank you, nice. Thank anybody you, here for the first time? Anybody? Varun's bride is here for the first time. Hi. Nice I, to I have forgot you. your name, sweetie. I'm sorry. I don't remember Preeti. names. Preeti. Preeti. I won't forget that. There's another Preeti there, also. There are the two call. other Preetis on the call. Two of them? Yeah, yeah. two of them. <laughs> there are three of them. Yeah. Who is that? So after the call, I request you to go stand in front of the nearest mirror and you look into your eyes and you look into your eyes as if I'm looking at you and I promise you, you will see a miracle. And if you don't see it, wipe the mirror and see again, you will see it. Because you're all born as miracles, unique and special on this planet. But very often, people forget to see themselves as special. They want somebody else to tell them, you are special. And I'm here to tell you that you are. Okay? Thanks. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you all. Take care. Bye. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> okay. I have put you through two, three surveys and Lord knows how much more. I'm, I'm so glad you're asking for more. And Someday. There are, there are we've, we've done five parts and now six is not out of the question, you know. Yes. One Linda. of the reasons why I wanted to do this call was because of the Povad's words, that word that has been added. And so use it. It will help you even more. Yes. Yes, Linda. Ma, uh, that call about using correct wo- correct oh. words in the sense, not correct words, but yeah, our words are choices, as well. Yeah, ah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. There, right How now, there is someone who wants me to do an entity class. There's, there's somebody there. who wants me to do a foundation and class. Call. There's somebody who wants me to do how to become money work. There's somebody who wants me to talk about words and like oh, this there's, a, there's a lot on our plate at the moment. Exciting. Yeah, I I will as soon as I can. Thank you. Yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, take good care of yourselves. Thank you. And, and, and please look after yourselves like you are the most precious thing in your life and you are. You too, Ma. And, and I want you to <laughs> smile when I say this. I'm, thanks, <laughs> please. This is you too. Yeah. <laughs> it's been two hours? It's been two hours.
ஜாயின் <laughs> 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 and when we talk about the earth we are actually talking about ourselves and working on ourselves so all the best very very best always thank you ma'am thank, thank you, you so much ma'am. thank you so much thank you everybody um, good night thank you thank you good thank night, night, night ma'am good night good night good night take care good night good morning lesty yeah <laughs> uh, what is that which one um in the dream carry movie good afternoon good evening and good night i don't remember I don't know what it was which movie there was anyway thank you so much and um see you next time bye 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 thank you bye bye good night good night bye thank you bye bye welcome